Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT and in this video we are doing what effectively is part three of the gathering, crafting, harvesting, potion, brewing, making thing. <laughs> so it almost become like a mini series. So two videos ago we looked at the master crafted crafting manager module by Ripper which is a premium module. Uh, and in the last video, we looked at the Gatherer module, again by Ripper, and again a premium. So I forgot to say that in the previous video, that that is also one of his premium modules. In this video, we're going to talk about the third one that kind of completes that series that I referred to in the others, which is Potion, Crafting, and Gathering. Now, this isn't originally by the Ripper. Um, so this was by Action J. Uh, and this is not part of the premium so you can get this bit on its own without the other two bits completely free if that's what you want to do and this really it provides a lot of the background information and stuff to make the other two much more usable out of the box let's put it that way because we talked about the fact you can create all your own roll tables you can create all of your own items and everything else like that this is the module that says why bother because somebody has done it for us so let's have a little look at what that does so first of all compendiums we get a whole compendium pack here potion crafting and gathering um, and we've got a whole bunch of stuff i'm not going to look at those right now because there's an easier way to see what's in there if i go to my rollable tables you can straight away see i've got an extra folder so that hunting one is the roll table that i made up for that video but this has brought in this mod has brought in all of these over here and there's a lot so all plants is a roll table that contains shed load of different plants here 37 wolfsbane um, pixie paracel they're all in here of different types but also you've got these smaller ones so the blight shore there is only one there's blight spores that you can get from the blight shore what about forests there's a whole bunch of things you can get from forests so these tables with the items have already been made acid dew morning dew ever fresh ever frost berry <laughs> put my teeth back in um the singing nettle all got icons all been created they're all are there for us brilliant um swamp again was it swamp i was just on whatever it was i was just on so just like before um you can just it's a roll table you can just roll in it'll randomly generate an item there we go we've got gillyweed because we rolled a two and now we know that the other the gatherer mod um we're creating harvesting locations for those so part of this mod if you look again in the top right here i've changed it to my journal it's given me a catalog of recipes to use uh, with the um, with the crafting side of things uh, but we've also got a gathering and harvesting one as well so this is actually already brought together so we've got a bit of extra support there but it's already brought together all of these tables for us so if we look at the forest one there we go there's all of those items from the roll table already set up ready for us to go now of course we can edit it if we want to if you remember in the previous video we talked about the time to respawn the amount of times that you can uh, effectively pull or harvest from this area before it runs out the amount that you get this is all just defaulting to the individual items rather than having it for the whole roll table it's got the mini game switched on to 500 microseconds there um, and at the moment this hasn't got a well it's got herbalism dc 10 there we go so herbalism dc 10 for this so if we uh, let's uh, select sorryman and let's try gather in the forest it's going to immediately tell us we're missing the herbalism kit because Sorryman doesn't have one and it's suggesting for this. Now, I mentioned in the previous video, you know, maybe you say you want a sickle or whatever it might be. This one is saying you need a herbalism kit. So let's give Sorryman a herbalism kit. Uh, we should be able to get that just from the plain SRD. Herbalism kit. There we go. And we just chuck that on his character sheet. That will now appear uh, down here so we've got that herbalism kit in there so this time when i attempt to do that roll here we go he's got to make his check he's going to make his roll and i'm going to gather whatever that was nightshade Whee! He's gathered one nightshade there we go already 
set up. Uh, didn't gather anything this time. Oh, uh, this time I got acid dew. So, how much easier is that? It's all there. Of course, you may want to change it. You might want to add items. Again, you can just edit to change any of these settings that you want to. You can go to the roll table, add items, take them out, change their the likelihood. You know, if you have a everything at a moment on this table is a is a is a single roll of the dice. But if you made that a one or a two, you know, instead of it being six point nine percent as it's showing you there, it would go up. It would more likely to get that when you roll. Uh, you know how dice work, right? <laughs> um, so these these are all here, which is absolutely brilliant. Nice and easy. Job done. Again, change to your preference. Uh, so what about the crafting side of that? Now we can go into Soriman. We can click crafting. And suddenly we've got Soriman has access to all of these books that are already put together what well, we've got mild poisoner down here if i open this we've got a basic poison it tells me what i need i need nightshade how convenient um i've got that so i can actually go and produce that if i want to i need a poisoner's kit okay so it's set up by default to say you need a poisoner's kit for that and that makes sense of course so sorry man's got the ingredients he doesn't have a poisoner's kit which means he needs to borrow one or he might be giving his nightshade to a character that has the poisoner's kit um the budding herbalist what we got in here we've got a potion of healing i haven't got the ingredients for that what i have got the ingredients for anything on here possibly not no, I haven't got any of these ingredients. I can't do anything. Sorryman's going to have to spend a lot more time wandering around. Or oh, we've got some of the ingredients for a potion of revival. We've got the acid dew. But you can see how very quickly it becomes quite useful for the characters to dedicate time to harvesting, for purchasing these things so that they can use it. And I think once you've got a whole selection of recipes like this it suddenly starts to engage the players with that side of the game if they want to and if you want to if you've only got one or two recipes it's a bit like oh i can't be bothered to spend you know this time gathering stuff just to make one potion of healing but suddenly there's an awful lot more they can do with it um what we got we got brewing alchemists here we've got alchemist fire uh, bottled breath blasting powder fake blood uh, making your own ink. What, what does that need out of interest? Charcoal. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you still need to be able to brew it, but you've uh, relatively easy to get hold of charcoal, isn't it? Um, or any town is going to have access to that pretty much. So all these different potions and things you can create. And of course, if there's things you don't want them to be able to make, I don't want my party making midnight oil, you can just take it out the table. In fact, I can just sort of, uh, you know, remove anything I want or change the ingredients or I can put an ingredient in for it that is so rare that they're never going to get it or that they have to quest specifically for that um, rather than just randomly finding it harvesting around the countryside. So... Um, it's quite a quick video this one because there's not a huge lot to show well i mean there's a huge amount to show you but uh, that, that that's kind of it so it's going to give you all of your recipe items that you can forage and then all the recipes you could do something with yeah the time on this one is going through and making sure you're happy with what they have got and that you know that you are you're happy your players are going to be able to make that stuff um and are going to have the opportunity to gather the appropriate ingredients but add anything you bloody well like which is just amazing it's a really really nice little combination of mods if your party is interested in that side of it in my curse of strad game this probably won't work because the entire environment is quite different um, a lot of the plants that you might find you know they grow in bright sunshine well that does not exist <laughs> in barovia so this is probably not really in even though i've got a druid in that party who is very much into picking every plant that she finds um in another setting that druid would love this system for curse of strad for me not particularly useful but my next campaign won't be uh, curse of strad it'll be something else instead something a bit more open world um with a bit more moving around and i'm very likely to come back and implement this as an option because it, as once it sits there i've put very little time into this i've just installed the mods this can sit there and if the players never use it oh well 
it's a shame it was there but it's it's not i've not wasted time unless you know i created everything myself i would recommend that if you're looking to implement it if you're going to put any effort into it whatsoever talk to your players first and ask them if they're even interested in that type of system if they say look just no i'm not really interested in that we just want to hack things to death don't bother don't put the time and effort in you know same same with a lot of things don't put puzzles in your game if players hate puzzles um <laughs> don't put romance in your game if your players don't aren't interested in romance all of that kind of basic dm stuff right that's it i think i've covered everything here so again those three mods that you want to be looking at so this is of course the uh potion oh, sorry this is the um potion crafting and gathering mod which is the add-on mod that is designed to go with Ripper's Premium Module Master Crafted and Ripper's Premium Module Gatherer. And I think what we'll just what we'll do in the next video is we'll have a little look at all of Ripper's mods and just go through and just have a look at which ones are premium, which ones are free, and which ones you might be really interested in. And also, if there's any that we've not covered and you're like, oh, I'm really interested in that one, gives us an opportunity to say, well, hang on a minute, if lots of people want to see that, let's go and play with it and see what it does. Anyway enough for this one thank you for watching appreciate it take care leave a comment leave a like if you're not subscribed please do so and i will see you in the next one